What's up, Internet? Welcome back to the Crypto Junkie channel where we talk about all things crypto. Today, what I want to talk about is some recent data on uh, just how well hedge funds performed in 2021, what the best hedge funds were, and just how everyone performed essentially in the last 12 months and the utter hilarity of it all. So look at the chart in front of you. We'll probably blow this up really, really big uh, if we can in, uh, in post edits. But here is our returns. Uh, oil, then Bitcoin, then energy, financials info, um, S&P 500, mutual funds is right here, Russell 2000, and here's hedge funds way over here. Here is bonds for all the bond boys. Uh, here is gold for all the gold bugs, uh, Peter Schiff. Uh, utterly embarrassing at this point um, that you would even actively still promote this as like a primary piece of a portfolio. Uh, it should have a part and a role, I think to some degree, uh, but the amount is, uh, is highly questionable, especially when <clears throat> I could have literally just bought Bitcoin and held it for the last 12 months and I would have outperformed every single hedge fund in the market. Let that sink in. I could have just bought Bitcoin and I would have outperformed every single hedge fund in the market. This is also why you have so many heroes and so many like armchair quarterbacks who think that they're now expert fucking investors that just bought Bitcoin and sat on it or had really, really good success with selling and you know buying and selling shit coins or nfts like unfortunately there is a downside to this which is that everyone's a fucking hero now and they're a professional trader and they've quit their jobs to now be all in on uh, crypto and if we are in the start of a bear market those people it's going to be just like 2017 all over again we saw this same shit happen i saw this i watched it where all these people were quitting their jobs all these people thought they were fucking experts and traders and blah 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 in for a rude awakening so anyway my point is, it's uh, this chart I could just stare at and laugh for, for a sizable amount of time. Okay, so anyways, uh, there it is. Next is the best and worst performing S&P 500 stocks in 2021. And here we go. So again, like in comparison, you could have, this would have been harder, but you could have, you know, picked some stocks and, uh, and sat on those for the year and done pretty well. You know, 196% again on uh, Devon Energy, then we had Marathon Oil, Moderna, I mean, that was the the um, pharma play was pretty sizable and easy, I think, um, after after we saw like the, um, what was that, uh, the Project Warp Speed or whatever that was called that Trump rolled out to get the uh, vaccines done quickly. Now, you would have been shooting at the wall in terms of like which pharma to pick, but if you would have just, you know, put your money into the biggest ones, you would have done okay, right? Where's Johnson and Johnson? Mm. And then uh, Pfizer. <clears throat> oh, there's Pfizer. P F E. So that was 66% returns in 2021. And again, when, when did these come out? You probably would have gotten some pretty good gains in the tail end of 2020, right? Um, Johnson Controls International. Where's? I think it's just Johnson and Johnson. It should be JJ, right? Maybe it just looks like a different. I don't know. JJ is nowhere to be found. So. Anyway, you would have had a harder time picking individual stocks, you know, especially banking on energy when there's such a, you know, pro climate change uh, narrative going on. Yeah, but we, we need energy at the end of the day. We need oil. So you can't just like yank that and rug pull it. And now all of a sudden replace it with something that's more green or more economic. Um, it's just not going to work like that. It's going to have to be phase out one, phase into the other. So, uh, okay. Where was the third? Didn't I have a third chart that I wanted to share? Oh, here it is. Top and bottom 20 funds of 2021. So top fund, uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta take a step back. The top fund did outperform, um, if these are percentage points, did outperform Bitcoin, so 85%, and then we drop all the way down to 58%. So this is Sendvest Partners, you might wanna look into them, 85% return, uh, unless that's 85 point return. I'm not really sure how this is uh, the scale. Uh, Ascendo Capital was 58%, uh, Trefoil Select, Funds, SPC was 54%. And then who's the bottom, who's the worst? Uh, Perceptive Life Sciences Offshore Fund, negative 34% for the year. Uh, Solitude Capital Fund, negative 17% for the year. Blackwall Europe Equity Fund, negative 14% for the year. Again, I'm, I'm assuming these are in percentage uh, percentages, right? So yeah, there you go. I just wanted to share this data with you really, really quick. You would have outperformed if you just sat on Bitcoin. So we'll end it on this chart. Uh, you would have outperformed a majority of hedge funds uh, if you just sat on Bitcoin and Bitcoin alone, like 99.9% .9 of them. There's like what, one that was above this at 85%. So yeah, you would have been better off just sitting on 
which is hilarious. Bitcoin and oil and energy. Okay, just wanted to share two more additional pieces of data that I found, which is that um, this year was pretty good just in terms of, well, 2021 was pretty good in terms of um, returns on, you know, the stock market in general. In fact, only 1% of um, fund managers outperformed the natural uh, gains that you would have gotten by just partaking in the um, in the stock market in the S and P 500 index, right? So if we look here, here's the returns from 1928 until current, which is pretty crazy. So we're definitely in the upper percentile, I would say, in the top five uh, percent of all returns ever since 1928. So if you just look back, you can see that obviously there, there was some. Um, some bigger years, but 27.5% is what you would have gotten in 2021. It's pretty good. And now if we look, most act actively managed US funds underperformed S&P 500 benchmarks last year. So just one in four active fund managers investing in US large caps beat the S&P 500 index in 2021. Only 1% focusing on US growth stocks beat the S&P. Um, value managers fared much better according to uh, BOA data. So anyways, digest this. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, like and share this video if you want uh, more people to view it. We'd love to have your help uh, growing this channel and growing this community. And then if you're brand new here, about 60, 70% of people are still not subscribed that view these videos, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, turn it to all so you don't miss out on future uploads. All right, we'll see you again real soon.